Hi, welcome to the State Employees Association of North Carolina video on state health plan changes for the year 2017-2018. We have Chuck Stone, our Director of Operations, who's also our healthcare guru, and he is here to do two things. First, we're going to do a quick and dirty, as we call it. Just the basics of the health plan proposal that was passed yesterday by the Board of Trustees. And if you want to hear more, and you probably will, we'll give you a place to click to hear. And but buckle up, it's a 30-minute video if you're going to click to the other. But it has every piece of information you could ever ask. I'm going to give you true-false questions. Are premiums going up? Premiums are going up. How? Yes. PPO 7030 will have a $25 per month premium, and the 8020 will be $50 per month. Okay. Are they going up for retirees? Retirees, if you're a Medicare retiree, there will be no premium for the PPO 7030. And if you're in Medicare Advantage and you have the base plan, there's no premium increase there. Uh, so Medicare retirees are not subject to the premium. Uh, early, what we call pre-Medicare retirees, early retirees who are under age 65, if they take the PPO 7030, they do not pay a premium. Okay. And a lot of people miss that. Um, those who take the 8020 will have to pay the full $50 premium. Okay, true or false? Other costs are going to go up, deductibles are going to go up, stuff like that. False. And that is the good news that your benefits and your co pays and uh, deductibles are going to remain the same through 2021. Okay, uh, so true or false? The General Assembly just should have appropriated more money to avoid all of this. False. And the reason being, every dollar we take out of the General Assembly for the health plan ultimately is money that comes out of pay raises. And your team's been working on an alternative, uh, which we can talk about later. Okay. True or false? Uh, for state employees, um, there's no way for anyone else to bear the brunt of this. The state employees and retirees just always have to have the cost shifted to them. We, there is an alternate way, and the treasurer made re reference to that, so it's false. There is another way, but you have to identify the cost savings, and because this was a mess inherited by the treasurer, uh, the treasurer needs time to identify those savings so that over the next four years, there won't be premium increases, there won't be uh, changes in the uh, benefit structure, and so that hopefully they can get a subsidy in for dependent coverage. True or false? Um, bad news out of the health plan is new, and it's because of this new treasurer, Treasurer Falwell. Absolutely false. Our plan members have been suffering for the past at really for, for more than eight years in reality uh, because benefits have constantly been cut in the health plan, co-pays increased, deductibles increased. Last year deductibles went from I think it was 700 to 1250 in the 8020. Well, and they tried to cut the 8020. And, and they tried to eliminate the 8020. Yeah, yes. There they go. Okay. True or false, the health plan is doing away with the consumer directed health plan, the high deductible plan. That is true. They are doing away with the consumer directed health plan. Uh, the plan would have lost $227 million uh, this year if they continued down that path. Uh, and the problem with consumer uh, directed health plan is the state has it. Uh, it was designed with what they call a health reserve account. So when you leave the state or if you switch to one of the PPO options next year, you lose whatever you have in the health reserve account. This consumer directed health plan will probably come back at some point in the future in a different design, at which time it needs to be, have a health savings account. So if you leave state government, that money is yours and you carry it with you. Okay. True or false, Scenic has a policy platform objective that our members voted on at convention that says they are against any premium in the health plan. Absolutely true. Our policy platform has had that in there for years that the state uh, should maintain at least one premium free uh, health insurance option in the state health plan. So yesterday I did make a proposal. 
uh, that if these premiums were going to be imposed, even on the PPO 7030, that it should be on a temporary basis the same way that the state of North Carolina, when they taxed employers an extra surcharge um, during, the, um, during the bankruptcy of the state unemployment insurance fund, that this surcharge on the PPO 7030 should be temporary, okay, not permanent. Okay, so true or false, Scenic members are just livid over this proposal. Uh, Actually, I'd say that's false. The reason being, uh, we did an informal survey, sent out an email to those we have on our email listing. Uh, we received over 1,500 responses, artists, and blew me away because the results were totally reverse of what I expected. Two-thirds of our members want the certainty of knowing what their premiums are going to be and what their benefits are going to be and knowing that these will be frozen and locked in for four years rather than changing every year. They prefer having these locked in for the four-year period rather than, and pay the $25 or pay the $50. Well, that Is it true or false that this means we should be scared costs are going to go up every year? Uh, false, because the treasurer is committed to identifying the other savings, including a proposal that we made over six years ago to stop paying uh, excessive hospital outpatient reimbursement rates, which are 54% above what the private market health insurance mm -hmm. pays. And, and so as a result, that ought to generate 300, 350 million a year. And so we can freeze the benefits and we can freeze the premium increases and people won't be paying all those increases. And the every. treasurer said yesterday he would he would freeze these premiums for four years, and he would freeze the any cost increases for four uh, years. Artists, that is what the treasurer is uh, is committed to. He was asked by one of the board of trustees members, "Well, can you absolutely guarantee that?" Like every other human being on the face of the earth, obviously, no one can give you a blanket guarantee. But our experience with Treasurer Falwell, when he was at the General Assembly, if he says he is going to do something, he's committed to doing it. He finds a way to do it. Okay. And uh, at least he's willing to look at getting money from providers and not looking to state employees and retirees for everything. And that, that's the first time that we've had somebody committed to looking at that. So that's good. That's the good news. Treasurer Falwell has delivered a great win by saying he wants to find out why we're wasting 250 to 350 million dollars a year uh, in those reimbursement rates, and that is a huge win for every plan member. Anything in summary? I think uh, we hit the highlights. Uh, maybe in summary, the plan is going to be simpler when people do the open enrollment. There's they no longer have a health risk assessment to do. Uh, there's only one attestation, that's the tobacco attestation, that's the only wellness uh, premium and uh, surcharge and premium credit in there anymore. And third, uh, if you do a designate a primary care physician, which will be optional, uh, but you'll pay lower co-pays for that office visit, so that's a win. Okay, yeah. so it's not good news that there is and not going to be a premium free option because Scenic always wanted that. It is uh, great news that as opposed to how it would go up in the marketplace, state employees won't see those kind of increases in their health plan for four years. It's a mixed bag. If you want to know the full story uh, in detail, please click on the next video. But that is the true false, uh, quick and dirty yes. version of the state health plan. Uh, we would encourage you to come to Lobby Day on March 29th where state employees and retirees will join their scenic staff and encourage lawmakers to do the right thing by state employees. We go in depth in the other video about that as well. But if you uh, want to know more about it, go to the website www.scenic.org and learn about Lobby Day and learn about what you can do to make your life better. And even though this is quick and dirty artists, 
isn't it true that Scenic is trying, pushing for a flat $2,400 pay increase that would apply to every state employee, regardless of whether they're in the school system, Department of Transportation, Corrections, true. whatever. We're, we're fighting for $2,400 for absolutely everyone and that because it's the right thing to do. That will help pay for these premiums. Oh, it, several times over, and uh, mm -hmm. that's why we need you on Lobby Day. we got to make it pass. Thanks. Thank you.